Are you pretty claustrophobic? Oh my god, you must have had such a long trip. It was long, 24 hours. Holy crap. In total. <laughs> How old are some of these buildings? I have no idea. We're in Vienna, the capital of Austria and one of the great capitals of Europe. We're at Steffensdom, a Gothic-style church which marks the center point of the city. And this is where our tour begins. Joining me is a group of Austrians and non-Austrians, and they're going to help ensure that we get the most out of our trip. <laughs> We're here at Maria Theresia Platz. Behind me, you can see a statue of Maria Theresia, a famous Austrian empress. She was the one who introduced compulsory school for kids, so everybody's thanking her or hating her, respectively. On the left and right hand side, you can see two famous Austrian museums, the Museum of Science and the Museum of Art. And lots of people go there because there's interesting things to see. And if contemporary art is more your thing, you could also explore the more avant-garde galleries. that you can see behind me is called the Wiener Riesenrad and it's situated in the largest uh, park in Vienna which is the Prater. People love to just come here on the weekends or during the week like today and just hang out or maybe study or whatever just have fun. <laughs> This is a very famous Ferris wheel. It's built on 19th century technology and survived multiple wars and natural disasters. It also offers great views of the city. Yeah, it's scary. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to look down. I'm scared. <laughs> Are you scared of Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to die, I guess. After an exhausting day like this one, it's really the best idea to have Wiener Schnitzel because it's very typically Austrian and it's really delicious. So, Mahlzeit, as we say in Austria. I have beer from my hometown, by the way. I don't want to make advertisement, but it's really the best beer in the whole world. <laughs> Cheers. Here we are at Schönbrunn. It's the most famous palace in all of Austria, and it was the summer residence of the emperors. And you can go inside and relive history in its magnificent rooms. But one of the great things about it is actually that it's surrounded by beautiful parks that the Viennese enjoy on a regular basis. Coffee houses are a huge part of Viennese culture and there are lots of famous ones to go to. This is one of the most famous, it's Café Central, and people like Leon Trotsky used to come here, he used to plan the Russian Revolution here, and as you can see it's one of the most majestic, but there are also others with different personalities, let's go check them out as well. 
We are sitting here now in one of the most famous cafes in Vienna. It's called Demel. And of course, in a cafe, in a typical Viennese cafe, you have to eat Sachertorte. The gem inside this cake is made of apricots. When you're visiting Vienna, you have to taste it too. Right now we're in Cafe Havelka, which is my favorite cafe in Vienna. This is a really great place because it's seen as, I think, one of the academic cafes. A lot of famous people used to hang out here, like Freud and Kafka. It's also one of the places that's left that has uh, waiters still have this thing called Vina Schmee, which is this kind of like grumpiness, but in a funny way, <laughs> where they're constantly joking with you. Another great place to go for a coffee or a drink or just to hang out is the museum quarter. This is Stiegel. You heard in the previous clip <laughs> that Murau supposedly is the best beer in Austria. But in reality it's Stiegel from Salzburg. This was the beer Mozart drank. This is the beer Mozart used to drink. We're in an area now that's called Museumsquartier, which is kind of, kind of the quarter of the museums because there are very many museums around here. And there are also uh, very many bars, and it's, it's nice to hang out here and to go out at night. And uh, it's right next to the university, so there are many young people hanging out here too. So if you have a chance, just come by and have a drink. Stepping out of the city center, you can find Vienna's central cemetery, which actually has more graves than people living in the city. You'll find a lot of famous people buried here, including Austria's famous composers like Mozart, Beethoven and Schubert. Mm -hmm. 